The first line of business is making sure the controller is connected via wireless USB and is on Android mode. Hold both connect button and A button to switch connection mode to PC via USB dongle. Some button labels are different on Vader 2 but the same set of buttons does the same thing. Now, to switch controller mode to Android, direct input, hold connect button and select button for a few seconds until your controller vibrates. Click on FlyDG gamepad icon to enable the device. Click on triple bar button on the top right side, then click on plus button to add a new game profile. From here, you can begin mapping the controller. You can use the magic wand to quickly apply Xbox or PlayStation gamepad preset. Make sure the hide physical controller tick box within gamepad tab in preference is checked before you do so. In case you prefer to manually map the gamepad, select the button you wish to configure. You can choose between single press, hold press, double press, triple press as well as press start and press release. For normal use, single press is generally sufficient. The drop-down menu will show you all the available keys you can use. You can filter the device types by clicking on these icons. While mapping, you can also press the key on your keyboard to quickly select it. Aside from manually adding the keys, analog sticks also have presets so you can quickly fill them up. In the Advanced tab, you can find more in-depth adjustments for your input. Except for Response Curve, Dead Zone and Axis Invert which are only available with Advanced Mapping License. Other adjustments can be configured here using Basic License. The default setting usually gets the job done so I'd suggest you leave then be unless you have specific need that requires to fiddle with them. The BXY pad is called A stick in the software, and beside the options mentioned earlier, it also has two modes to choose from, native mode and additional mode. Native mode duplicates right stick to A stick while additional mode makes it a standalone analog stick with its own configuration. The gyroscope icon is where you set up gyro control, of course. Be mindful that gyroscope on FlyDG gamepads only have two axes, pitch and yaw. And don't forget to set up activators properly. Clicking this icon on the right side will switch view to the back of controller. Because the triggers on the Vader 2 are analog, they also have zones tab which is similar to analog sticks advanced settings. Just above the controller, you can see the shift layers and the default layer. This is where you configure modifiers for your setup. Along with shift layers, corresponded LED settings can be found here. This icon will lead you to adjustment menu for virtual mouse and scroll wheel. These virtual devices are controlled by stick or gyroscope inputs if you are wondering where they are from. And lastly, vibration menu. If you're mapping your controller to keyboard and mouse, or using gyroscope extensively, turning vibration off is recommended to prevent unwanted effects. Once you're done with your config, you can either click the save icon, which saves your config without applying it right away. Or you can click on apply to save and apply immediately. Right click on the config's title for more options. Clone to option will duplicate your current config so you can save time making a new one. The auto-detect function allows the software to apply config automatically upon executing a program. Choose a process, then tick those two boxes, the config is ready to be automatically picked the next time you boot the game it's assigned to. With auto-detect, you don't have to manually switch profile each time you play a different game. On top of the basic license, ReWASD also have four additional licenses to expand its functionality. Advanced License, as mentioned earlier, grants access to Mute, formerly Unmap, Dead Zone, Response Curves, and Axis Invert. Combo License allows you to create timed combos, sequenced actions, hotkeys, or even a combination of them all. Rapid Fire License is what you need for Turbo Function. It also comes with button toggle and shift toggle, as well as custom setup for shift modifier.
And finally, slots license, which is much like FlyDG's homebrew profile switching, gives you four config slots to switch between on the fly. This concludes FlyDG Gamepad's introduction to ReWASD. Thank you for watching.